In this video, we will look at a distance problem that incorporates many of the distance problems we've seen in the past. On a 130-mile road trip, a car traveled at an average speed of 55 miles per hour and then reduced its speed to 40 miles per hour for the remainder of the trip. The trip took two and a half hours. For how long did the car travel at 40 miles per hour? Setting up our table that rate times time equals distance, we see that the car traveled the first leg, we'll call it leg A, and then slowed down for the second leg, which we don't know if it was shorter or longer, we'll call that leg B. What we do know is that the total trip they took was 130 miles. Let's see if we can plug all of our information in the table. On leg A, we're told the car traveled at an average speed of 55 miles per hour. It then reduced its speed to 40 miles per hour. These speeds are our rates for the two different trips. As far as time, we're told that the entire trip took two and a half hours. 2.5 is the total time for the entire trip, not one leg or the other or both, but the total time for the entire trip. We don't know how long was spent on the first leg. Let's call it T. If we have a total time of two and a half hours to spread around and T of it has been used up on the first leg, we simply have to subtract to find out how much is left, 2.5 minus T, or the total minus our variable. We can now finish our table by multiplying rate times time, 55 times T is 55T, and 40 times the entire 2.5 minus T, which means we have to distribute. This will give us 100 minus 40T. We now have to decide, are these two distances equal to each other or do they add up to a total? It would not make sense that we would randomly slow down halfway through the trip exactly, giving us two equal distances. But rather, we are told the entire trip was 130 miles. If we add the two distances together, we will get the total trip of 130 miles. So by adding the column, we get an equation. 55T, the first leg, plus 100 minus 40T, the second leg, equals the entire trip of 130 miles. We now have an equation we can quickly solve to answer the question. Combining like terms gives us 15T plus 100 equals 130. Solve the two-step equation by subtracting 100 from both sides to give us 15T equals 30. And finally, dividing both sides by 15, and we know T, our time, is equal to 2. However, we must be careful we are answering the correct question. The question is asking us, how long did the car travel at 40 miles per hour? Notice T is the time at 55 miles per hour. Two hours were spent at 55 miles per hour. We need the time at 40 miles per hour. The cell clearly tells us that this is 2.5 minus T, which we just found out was 2. 2.5 minus 2 is 0 0.5 hours, or the car traveled for 30 minutes at the slower rate of 40 miles per hour.